Jones searching for Jones, and then Jaden Hunt just bangs it onto his boot. Long ball. That's Fritch. Oh. Bailey Fritch on debut. What a way to start your career. Tui Parsons, Zach Smith. Long ball. Here he goes in his first game. Asaba Rabagalia. His first kick on the game's biggest ground. And he splits the middle. Asaba is on the board. In the end of it, though, so a little opportunity here for Kelly. Tried to find Hawkins on the lead with a precise kick. Couldn't get it. Menzel around the body. That's what Menzel does best. So Smith and Pedersen. Gary at the fall of the ball. Got a couple of demons to deal with. Ball spills. Missed by Wagner. Picked up by Parsons. Fogarty! Another debutante on the board in the first term. Neil Bullen, well done to him. Ablett, really well done by Fogarty. Blitzarves, Hess, Selwood, turned the right way. Quick kick over the shoulder was impressive as well. Here goes Gaz, shapes up, 45 and closing the little master. Nails it, crowd erupts for the Cats. Oliver, hemmed in harms, changed numbers this year, taken the four of Jack Watts. Bailey Fritch has lost it in the air. Jesse Hogan for number two. Can he tumble it through? It's raining goals at the G. Yeah, just got an update on Harry Taylor. He's got a plantar fasciitis concern. He's just trying to move around and see if he can warm up that injury. They're not sure whether he'll return just yet. It's the physio of Geelong putting a rubber glove on the foot of Harry Taylor. And we don't know why that would be, but a rubber, a rubber glove. Hmm. Interesting, no? Well, here's a chance for the D's. Harms to Oliver to go. Yep. D's have got another. Yeah, I reckon he needs a couple of those too, Jakey Lee. They're just to settle himself. Ablett front spot just knocked it over the top. Murdoch. Little give was great to Tui. Then he runs into a bit of trouble. Runs away from Salem. Rado Galea takes on one, two, three, four D's and then misses Gary. Junior good enough to Minigola. Selwood saw Gregson. He can move it on to a couple of options. Long ball to the square. Going back, Menzel. Well weighted ball. Just hits it to the top of the square. Pedersen. He had it lined up a long way out. Couldn't clean up. Menegola went searching with the handball. Here's a chance. Kelly around the corner. Kelly! He gets his first. 17 goals collectively kicked here. We continue on this goal scoring rampage here in the second quarter. Cam Guthrie got around one, stood the handball to puff it. He turns around the 360. Kelly involved. Back to Guthrie. Takes on Salem. Turns the kick around the corner. Brilliant licking play from Cam Guthrie. Over the top of it here, Fogarty. Handball Hawkins. Linking play. Good stuff, Parsons. Long way from home. Here's the dangerous Menzel. Ablett with him. Knocks to Ablett. Thought about going himself. Murdoch follows up. Brilliant team play. Needed a front and centre there. Did well, Wagner. Got the little handball away. Plenty of Melbourne players here. Peterson. Little one up the middle. Petrarca was turning before he even got it. On to Hannon. Got a bit of speed. Needs poise. They need a goal. They need a goal. And they got the one they needed. Says all OK. And then Petrarca. Low ball inside 50. Garland. Can he add to this tally for the Ds? We've got the first two of the third, Colin Jasny. Tui, hard up against the line with plenty of pressure. Zach Guthrie now. Garland still chases the football. Melksham, just a couple of metres back to Neil Bullen. Bouncing ball. It's bounced perfectly. The D's get three in a row. Inside to Duncan. One of the five. But Ablett played alongside. And years gone by it was Mitch Duncan, Zach Smith, Menzel ends up with it outside of the boot. They get their first to the term. Tapped and recovered. Selwood kept the arms clear or pin one, in fact. It was a good tackle by Wagner, yes. wasn't it? Let's just take a look at that tackle again. There's Wagner. Ooh. It looks like ankle or knee. Could have been either. Left knee doesn't look good there. Stewart. Zach Guthrie to go back, little handball over the top to Stewart, he arches the back to stay away from Frisk, now Guthrie deep inside, 50 Menzel setting up for the standard 
drop punt attack on goal. And that's a goal. No problems. He's got four. Takes another bounce. The chase is on. Gregson almost runs him down. To half forward. Gala into the back of Tui. Up I said. All okay. I didn't think that was a button push. Yours. Chris Scott disagreed. So too Tui. And now a chance for Hogan. Little handball back into Jetta. Knew he couldn't take possession of it. Kelly gives it off here. Path it. Goes deep. Long. Men's all. What a great. More importantly than any of that, he'll give them a double-figure lead. And he has missed. He's got to go back, settle down, aim at the left goal post. Left goal post, hang it up there and let it come back. He doesn't attempt it. Sticks it to Gorn! Big Max Gorn is going to have a shot from 20 out. And remember, the clock doesn't stop until the goal umpire signals what it is. 16 seconds, 15 seconds. Gorn has kicked the goal. No, he's missed. No, he's missed. Gorn's missed. Eight seconds left. Gorn has missed. This is the last kick of the match, perhaps. He won't even get it away. He's played on. The Cats get home by the skin of their teeth. All the news, all the drama, all the clubs, all the pain, all the passion, all for you, and all for free. I'm Nat Edwards. And I'm Matt Thompson. Footy Feed, weekdays on afl.com.au.